I just wanted to share with you that little struggle. You know, when your life completely goes a different direction to what you thought it would, now you're just like, oh my God, what if the same thing happens, you know? welcome back to my channel you guys i feel like this is my official return to youtube because i'm not a student anymore what happened is i ended up finishing school earlier than i expected i have my group right the people that i started school with and stuff like that so we were not yet supposed to defend our thesis people still had some grades missing and other things they had to kind of sort out but i was done everything that i needed to defend my thesis and finish school was ready so i was at school on tuesday like just last week tuesday and then our coordinator was like well carol you're done and everything that we need from you we have so if you want there's a girl from a different group who is defending her thesis and if you want and just be over and done with you can join her so now because i was relaxing like oh most of my group members have so much stuff missing i know i wasn't supposed to be defending anytime soon i was so relaxed we also have to like prepare for our oral exam that you have the same day like it's a lot of stuff you have to prepare for i was not ready for that and i was like no don't worry i'll wait for my group and she was like why and i was like because i'm not ready because it was a tuesday and she was saying i would have to do it on thursday i'm like i will literally have one day to prepare i'm gonna fail <laughs> And she's like, no, you don't know that like it's stuff that you've been doing I mean, for the past three years. There's no way you can fail. And she was just like, you know what? Think about it and give me an answer. Let me try it. The worst that could happen is I fail and I have to redo the whole process with my group. So let me just try it. <laughs> so that's just where I am at. And I still haven't gotten my degree, like the actual certificate. The school say they don't even know when it's going to be ready could be two weeks could be a month so i'm just waiting for that but yeah i'm unemployed i'm not a student i'm just here chilling but i have decided this hasn't been going so well i had planned to not just waste my life away because i mean it's so easy to just binge watch netflix netflix and chill all day it's so tempting my plan is to try and just use the time to be productive i enrolled in some online certification courses some language courses as well i'm just trying to do little 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 things to just um you know better myself if you would call it that today i'm at home i received a package i'll show you guys the story of this package yeah it's quite sad <laughs> i left some of my stuff at home in england and then I asked my mom to send it to me and she did. It was my old stuff and I think like maybe three or four new pairs of shoes. Can someone tell me why I had to pay 470 slotties, import duties and stuff like that for my old stuff. Today was like the third day the guy had to come back. <laughs> The first time I missed him, the second time he comes and he's like, you have to pay 470 and I was like, for what? And he said, because the package is coming from outside of the EU and I was like, yeah, I understand. But like, this is old stuff. Why am I paying 470? I don't know. I'm just a delivery guy. And I was like, tell them to send it back. I mean, is it not coming from home? I'll take my clothes <laughs> when I go back home. Mom was like, well, you know, like with sending back stuff that's when stuff could get lost and things like that so just like pay it i am 470 peel and l and lighter because of my old stuff and maybe some new shoes that didn't even cost that much to begin with but yeah it is what it is so yeah before your relatives send you stuff from the uk you may want to think about that i'm just home today really i've got some cleaning to do i'm going to change my bedding i'll do some online school work i'm doing digital marketing and ux design and a little bit of some polish <laughs> yes i have finally decided to learn polish that's my life you guys that's the life update 
if your company is hiring please send me an email look me up this is what my mom sent me what's really making me mad is like guys can you see how worn these shoes are i've abused these shoes these not so much these abused i wore these in my crackle vlog most of the time okay fine these were fairly worn okay, these are new definitely these were also new um and these are also new and um and this one this was like the last the last new pair here it's my mom's dresses that she gave me and that she had also worn for like a really long time but i have to have them tailored a bit because my mom is much bigger than me but yeah and they were like here yeah, ma'am we need oh my god you guys <laughs> you know what i actually hadn't realized we went shopping with my mom this one time and i wanted this but the shop that we went to didn't have my size and she didn't tell me that she got it for me so i'm like what's this because i knew everything she was sending to me she didn't mention this particular jumper you should have seen how heartbroken i was when i didn't have my size oh my gosh thanks mom <laughs> okay so now i'm a little bit less salty about having to pay 400 for this package because i really wanted this jumper and i was so sad and it was literally I think my last day or second from last day in england so we couldn't like walk around and i really like this dress i saw it in pictures i was like mm you're gonna give me this one i just have to have it tailored a little bit it's a really nice dress okay guys so this is the platform that i use for my online courses it's called coursera yeah so these are the ones i've done so far i did this one and then for ux design so like the professional certifications it's not one course it'll be like a set of courses that you have to do to have a professional certificate for, for ux design i've done three i have what four more to go and then i'll be professionally certified those are the courses that i'm currently doing this is my fourth ux design course out of the seven that i have to do and then with digital marketing i just enrolled and this is the first course this is the second one and i just decided since i'm idle i'll be just taking them two at a time and this is the uni that I'm doing it with. I haven't even opened this one yet. <laughs> so much for telling on myself. But yeah, that's just what I'll be up to this phase of my life while I figure out what to do. Morning, guys. I really should stop coming on the internet looking like this. Today, I'm gonna go to Ikea to see if I can find the shelves for my case which I turn to shoe rack slash handbag rack while I'm there I'm gonna start looking for my graduation outfit like I have no idea what I'm gonna wear at all um, it's not a graduation outfit I should stop calling it that because then people think I have a graduation ceremony it's a graduation shoot outfit as far as I know we are not having a graduation ceremony for us so it's a graduation shoot. I know IKEA doesn't have that many shops, does it? I know they have H&M, but chances of me finding something that I actually like for my graduation in H&M are gonna be slim. Not that I don't like H&M clothes. I do like them for like everyday wear, but like for my graduation shoot, I don't know. We'll see. You guys you will not believe what I just discovered. So the bouquet, stand, shoe rack, handbag rack, whatever you want to call it. I bought it myself. It didn't come with the room, right? So I go on my receipt to see the dimensions so that I know the size of the shelf that I'm getting. So I bought mine in 2020 and I bought it for the exact same. I bought it for 159 slots and it's not 239. Things are really getting expensive like it's not even funny anymore oh my god oh my god i'm shocked i got like the bookcase and the wardrobe 
the one on top for 249 so of course out of interest i'm like okay let me see how much the wardrobe is now guess how much almost 400 are you kidding me like i was aware that things were getting expensive i just didn't know it was like that much at the beginning of the video i did mention that i'm not a student anymore and stuff like that so i just wanted to like quickly share how i feel about that seeing that it's not a secret that i absolutely hated being in lubin i was just like oh my gosh i can't wait to leave you know and then towards the end i just started to feel scared if it doesn't work out what like you don't know anyone there what if it turns out the same way that Lublin turned out you know um i came here when i was 24 i'm 27 now what i thought i would be able to do in the last three years and what i was able to do two completely different things and just doubting everything honestly and yeah i i have to get my mind back as soon as possible because this mindset is not helping anybody honestly it's not help. like i don't even look at apartments or anything like that yeah that's just a little something that i wanted to share with you since over here i tell you everything about my life including the not so nice parts about it so yeah um i've just i've just really been scared uh, hope it gets better i just wanted to share with you that little struggle of like you know when your life completely goes a different direction to what you thought it would and then now you're just like oh my god what if the same thing happens you know so i don't know i'm using a brush today because all my beauty blenders are dirty i would just take you guys along the journey and see how this goes just taking each day as it comes i guess i literally did this in like 10 minutes i'm so proud of myself i mean it's not like i was going for like full glam or anything just so proud of myself i did my face in less than 10 minutes and I was talking as well. <laughs> nice. In Poland, in July, do you still need to carry with you like a huge ass jacket? Because it's like 15 degrees. Can you imagine? So on our way to IKEA, the bus that I got in had a problem with the tires, so we had to get off and wait for another bus. Eventually made it after a few hiccups, so just come along with me. Hi guys, so I'm here. And I'm not gonna go into IKEA first. I'm just gonna look at the clothes first because if I go, I have to buy my stuff and then carry around. So I'll do clothes first and then go to IKEA. So I saw these shoes that I absolutely loved. It was saying it was my size, but it was definitely a bigger cut because they were so big. I had to leave them behind, but how gorgeous were these? Hi! So I've been walking around for about an hour and I haven't seen anything. Nothing at all that I would like. So I'm gonna go to TK Maxx. It's the last shop I'm gonna go and then I go to Ikea and get what I actually came here to get. 
But yeah, nothing interesting here. I kind of knew it because they don't have many shops. So I kind of expected it, but you know, it is what it is. So the last clothing shops I went to were Half Price and TK Maxx. I normally go to TK Maxx to see if they have any bags that I like. I always find that they have some really hidden jam bags that are obviously unique and not so pricey. However, today I wasn't so lucky because every single bag that I liked was out of my budget. So it liked it out of my budget. <laughs> so it liked it out of my budget so i just walked out with absolutely nothing however i did find a nice bag in half price i think this is a new shop in lublin because i'm only starting to see it now and trust me i'm the girl that's always at the mall so this has to be new in lublin and i did find a bag a bag that i had been wanting for a very long time and yeah it was heavily discounted i was so happy i didn't even think twice about it it was just like, you're going home with me. <laughs> you know, there was a time when I used to buy only sale items. And now I just remembered why. Because why did I pass something that I paid food price for? And now it's 50% off. Like, that's like, infuriating. Are you kidding me? This is the exact same rag I have in my room. Like when I bought mine, it was 100 and no, it was not on sale. I remember it was not on sale. Like what? No, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. Mira I got for our house, 200, are you kidding me? I don't remember the exact amount, but I know for sure it was not more than 150. I think it was like 140 or something like that. Wow. So when shopping at Ikea, they have these display rooms where they have the furniture assembled and you can kind of see what it looks like because when you buy your furniture from here, it's in parts and it's not assembled. So in these rooms, you'll be able to see the aisle number where you're going to find the pieces that you need and the shelf number. So this eight and nine was where I was going to find my shelf. So after that, you have to go down to the warehouse and look for your stuff. I got here looking for owl number eight shelf number nine which was further down there and i just had to walk there so this is a very common piece that people actually like so by the time i got to the shelf it was completely sold out i asked the assistants and they said they'd probably have it back in stock in august and i was just like what are you kidding me anyway i hadn't i had it to the circular hub this is where they sell some stuff that's discounted. It could have been returned. It could have been on display or anything like that. And the stuff is normally heavily discounted. Like, look at this table. Heavily discounted. Like, everything is super cheap. They did say that it has minor defects. But in my mind, I'm like, defects way. Because I actually couldn't see, like, the issues with this stuff. So, yeah, I came here hoping that I'll be able to find the piece of shelf wood that I was looking for but I really couldn't find it. Um, I looked and looked and looked and I couldn't find the one that I was looking for. So yeah, this was almost unfufu. And I was just looking at this furniture trying to figure out, okay, what is the defect with you guys? Couldn't see it, heavily discounted. So yeah, if you ever find yourself trying to furniture your house, your room, check this out. At point, I was now literally just killing time because my bus was in a few minutes time and I just went into home and you just to look. Yes, just to look. I didn't buy anything because at this point, I have absolutely no business buying anything for my room because it's extremely cluttered. But yeah, they do have some really nice stuff and I can tell you their bedding is so soft, you guys. So yeah, if you ever want to treat yourself to some really nice bedding, try them out. Obviously, they always have massive discounts you can see when the stuff is not on sale it's obviously expensive but you can see they always have discounts Hi 
Hi guys, so I'm on my way to the mall. Oh my god, I'm such a terrible YouTuber because I always forget like to vlog in between. But yeah, I just remembered I'm doing a vlog, so yeah. So this was me just making myself something to eat. I was extremely lazy, so I just put everything in the oven, child. <laughs> And yeah, I just made some chicken and some potatoes. Tell me you're a lazy cook without telling me you're a lazy cook. And after this, I just went on to do some Netflix and chill. And that was it for today. When I first came here, I used to be in awe of how cheap stuff was for a European country. Now, every time I go for groceries, I just cannot process how much i would have paid yesterday i went to oshan i spent about 40 zlotis for cereal eggs and potatoes and that was it today as you can see i didn't get much just juice and three different types of fruits again i spent 40 zlotis and i just cannot wrap my head around this whole inflation thing you would think i'm used to it considering i'm coming from them but yeah i just i just can't process it's too much